good morning everyone and thank you for joining me again for our chair exercises. I'm coming to you from the Apopka City Hall, um, courtesy of our mayor and the IT team. And uh, by the way, my name is Catherine. I hope I'm pretty familiar to you by now. And um, today what we're going to concentrate on is balance training. Uh, and that's so important. But before we do that, as a regular um, item, as a regular thing that we do at our um, Fran Carlton Center and Billy Dean Center here in Apopka, we always celebrate birthdays and uh, on the third Tuesday of the month. So we're going to celebrate today all the people who have May birthdays. So as you can see behind me, we have our birthday board with the names of all the people in my class who have birthdays this month. And if your name's not there, it's because you did not include it in my birthday book. But we wish you happy birthday anyway. So, um, as always, before we get to the goodies, we have to do our birthday dance. So I want all my May people to stand up, and we're going to do our birthday dance. I know it's been a while. I hope you still remember the steps. I'm going to go through it just once for you, and then you pick it up uh, and do it with me the second time around, OK? So we're going to step two steps on the left, then one on the right, one on the left. So it's two, one, two. And then we're going to start that over on the right side. It'll be two steps right, then one on the left, then one on the right. And then we're going to walk forward for four steps. And it's not just a walk. I want you to strut, more like a strut. Put some shoulders into it. And we get, we're going to walk forward for four. On the fourth beat, we're going to clap once. And then we're going to strut backwards for four. And on that fourth step, we're going to clap again. So this is what it looks like. Two steps left, then right, then left. Now, two steps right left, now forward, one, two, three, and clap, back, two, three, and clap, and then we repeat the sequence again, two on the left, then right, left, now two on the right, left, and forward, one, two, three, and clap, now back, now this time instead of a clap, we go, whee, throw the arms up, just like a big celebration. Okay, you all got that? So let's all do it together. One, two, here we go. And it's two on the left, now right, left, and two on the right, left, now forward. One, two, three, and clap, back, two, three, again, two on the left, right, left, now two on the right, left and forward. One, two, three, clap, back, two, three, and woo! Hey, good job, good job. Okay, now we're going to get to the goodies. You see on the birthday board I have one, two, three, four, five names. We're going to sing happy birthday to these people and any other May, May birthdays, but particularly these five, when we get to the part where we name the names, you're going to have to take a deep breath because we're going to get all the names in and then, then you can breathe out again. Okay. And what would a birthday be without a cake and candles? So if I could light this, here we go. Okay, so everybody ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alma, Ruby, Linda, 
Terry and Anna. Happy birthday to you. Okay, now, everybody, I want you to come in close. And on the count of three, we're going to blow out this candle. Okay, get ready. One, two. Oh, 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 wait, hold it, hold it. Wait, back up, back up. We forgot something, didn't we? You, we forgot to make a wish. So I want you to think of something very close to your heart that you want to be accomplished. Okay, but don't tell anybody. Okay, you all got your wish? All right, come back in again. On the count of three. One, two, three. Yay! Okay, fantastic. So, um, just so I want you to know, in case anybody was concerned, uh, this cake is not going to go to waste. I'll make sure that it gets disposed of uh, properly. All right. Thank you all for joining me. Now we're going to get ready and do some exercise. Okay. Hey, good morning, everyone. And uh, thank you for joining me. My name is Catherine. I'm the uh, chair exercise uh, instructor here in Apopka. I'm coming to you from the city hall, courtesy the, of the mayor's office and his wonderful IT team. So um, today, what I would like to, for us to focus on is balance. Uh, because balance training is becoming part of a complete exercise program. In addition to the cardio, um, strength training, flexibility, uh, now balance training is recognized as something important enough to do on a regular basis, even a daily basis. Uh, having good balance along with good posture is something that will lessen your risk of falling. And as we all know, falling, especially at a certain age, uh, can be devastating. If you break a hip or you know, hit your head, I mean, the, the results can be catastrophic. So we want to make sure that along with everything else that we, we train our balance. Now, there are lots of different reasons for our balance to deteriorate as we get older. Uh, the, nerve, the connections between the brain and the muscles sometimes get a little jumbled. If you have any sort of pathology in the brain, like a stroke or things like that can affect it. Um, uh, one thing that's sometimes overlooked is just pain. If you have pain in your joints and your ankles, knees, or hips, uh, you're going to favor one side or the other. You're going to adjust your gait, and that might make you unstable and cause problems with balance. Also, uh, there are bones in the, in the middle ear, in the inner ear, that um, communicate with each other, and there's fluid in there, and sometimes if you have problems there, you can have problems with balance. So there are a lot of reasons, and I implore you, if you notice that you're having difficulties with your balance, or you've been having falls, please don't keep that a secret. That's something that needs to be investigated. You do need to go to see your health practitioner and have that uh, looked out and checked into because, as I said, a fall can be devastating. Um, so, so we're going to do that today, but before we get into that, as always, we're going to do a warm-up to prepare our body for exercise. So make sure you have a nice sturdy chair, one that does not have wheels, we don't want it moving around, preferably one without any arms. Check the area around your chair to make sure that you don't have anything that might potentially trip you up or cause a tripping hazard. And um, please, please wear shoes on your feet. I know you're at home and there's carpet and you think it's going to be more comfortable, which it may well be, but the fact is it's not going to be as safe if you try and do these exercises without shoes. So make sure you have on 
something that's supportive for your feet. Uh, and have your water because you have to keep your body hydrated as you're going through the exercises. And I wanted to introduce my friend to you today. This is Klondike. He's come a long way to be with us today. This is a, a moose, in case you were wondering. And they live up in Alaska in those cold places. But he's here today on vacation. And uh, he's going to do the, um, the beginner moves. And you're going to have to look really hard at him because he may not, may not look like he's moving, but he's, he'll be doing the same moves we're doing. So um, you can follow Klondike if you're not too sure, or, or you can follow me. <laughs> okay, so let's sit up nice and tall. Let's bring the shoulders back. Feet flat on the floor. Head held high and bring, put a nice big smile on your face. We're going to bring that sunshine that's outside right into the room where we are. And we're going to take a deep breath in, lifting the arms up. And blow it out. And again, deep breath. And blow it out. Deep breath in. And blow it out. And let's do one more, just like that. Deep breath, expand those lungs, and blow out all that stale air. And relax your arms down by your side. We're going to turn our head all the way to the left, now to the center. And turn to the right, and center. Turn to the left, now all the way to the right, and all the way to the left, and all the way to the right, and back to center. Now we're going to bend our head over to the left and up to center, then to the right, up to center, then to the left. Now all the way to the right, all the way to the left, all the way to the right, and up to center. And now we're going to bend our head forward and lift up. Bend forward, lift up, bend forward, and up. Good. Shrug your shoulders up and down. And now let's circle them to the front, going forward. And we're going to circle them backwards. Good. And we're going to grab onto the two cabinet doors with your arms stretched out in front, and we're going to open them wide, squeezing those shoulder blades and close. Open. Close, open, close, open. Now let's reach up and pull down. Reach and pull. Pulling the elbows into the waist. Reach, pull, reach and pull. Stretch your arms out in front of you again. Hold on to the two doorknobs. Twist them out, twist them in. Out, in, out, in, out, in. And we're just going to give everything a shake right down to the hands. We're going to open and close the hands, nice and easy, bringing the thumb to the outside. And wiggle all ten fingers. Take the palms up, palms down. Palms up, down, up, down. Now, nice and easy, we're going to circle the wrists. First we go one way, and then we go the other way. Good, shake everything out again. Hands on the hips, sitting up nice and tall, we're going to do our butt walk. So we're lifting up the hips and the feet, coming forward in the chair. Now when you get to the front of the chair, don't keep going. Maybe a short drop, but you're not going to like the stop. We're going to back it up. And when you get to the back of the chair, come forward again. We're going to stop right in the middle. Bring those shoulders back. Take a deep breath in. We're going to rock it forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. And now we're going to take it around in a circle. First we go one way, then we go the other way. Good. 
Sit back up nice and tall. Relax your arms down by your side. Now bending just from the waist. We're going to go from side to side. Start with a small movement. And each time you bend, try and get a little bit lower. Now you're keeping your back straight and you're keeping your body upright, not leaning forward. Going from side to side. Now if you can touch the floor with your fingertip, that's fine. But if you can't quite get all the way to the floor, that's okay. Go as far as you can without lifting your butt up off the seat because that's cheating. And it might take you a little, a little while to get all the way to the floor, you know, gradually, but that's okay. Good. And let's sit back up nice and tall. We're going to go to our left leg and we're going to pedal forward. And now we're going to pedal backwards. Once you're pedaling, you're sitting up nice and tall. No leaning on the chair back. Okay, let's stop and have our foot just slightly off the floor. Keep that 90 degree angle at the knee. We're going to swing it out to the side and to the front. Side, front, side, front, side. Now hold it to the front. Stretch that leg out in front of you. We're going to point the toe, flex the toe. Point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. Now point the toe and take it in a circle going clockwise, rotating the ankle. And now counterclockwise. Good. Bring your left leg in, turning now to the right leg. We're going to pedal forward. And now pedal backwards. Okay, hold that foot just slightly off the floor, 90 degree angle at the knee. Swing it out to the side, to the front. Side, front, side, front, side, front side. Now hold it to the front, stretch your right leg out in front of you, heel on the floor, we're going to point and flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. Now point, keep it pointed, take that toe and make an O in a clockwise direction. And around and around she goes. Now we're going to Change the direction and go counterclockwise. Good. Bring the right leg in. Both feet together. Let's take another deep breath in. And blow it out. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do our balance exercises. Now I strongly urge you, unless uh, you unless you don't feel at all safe doing it. I, mean, I understand there are people at different levels uh, watching this video. Uh, please don't do anything that you're not absolutely comfortable doing. We're all um, working within our own capacities and limitations and we all want to do it safely. So if you're very unsteady on your feet and don't feel like you want to risk it, then please stay seated. You can do the same types of exercises, most of them, uh, seated in your chair. Um, just make sure your weight is evenly distributed uh, on your hips and then you can do the same kind of one-legged stance, keeping your, um, your tummy tight, shoulders back, head up. You can do a lot of the same different things, but I would um, ask that if you, you try at least some of these exercises standing up. You can always hold on to your chair um, if you feel a, a little unsteady or the other thing you can do if you have a, you can move your chair um, next to another solid object, a countertop or a table or even a wall and that would give you more support um, if you feel that you need it. So we're all going to stand up together on the count of three. When you stand, you want to have a little space between your feet. The further apart the feet are, the more stable. We're going to push down into the heels. You want your legs to be what 
lifts you up, okay? You don't want to try and launch yourself out of the chair by doing something like this because your, your head with the skull is very heavy. If you lean forward trying to get up, um, you, can, you can plant your face in the floor very easily. So you don't want to do that. Also, if you lean forward and put your head down, you may start to feel dizzy and that might you know, be a problem. So you want to keep your head up. You want to push down into the heels. Let the, the muscles in your legs take you straight up. Keep your upper body as straight as possible. And we're going to use our arms for a little momentum. If you have a chair that has arms, you can always use that to push down. But we're going to use our arms as a little momentum. So everybody, on the count of three, we're all going to stand up. So that's one, two, and three. Up we go. Hey, how did we do? I see, a little, I see everybody, everybody standing, most people standing, very good. Okay, so what we're going to do first, we're going to come around to the back of your chair. I'm going to turn mine so that you can see more easily what my feet are doing. Okay, we're standing at the back of the chair and we're going to back up a little bit. You want about uh, maybe about 10 inches, 8 to 10 inches away from your chair. Uh, close enough that you can grab it if you need to. Put your hands on it to steady you if you need that. But we're going to, first of all, uh, go up on the toes. We're going to bring the heels up, lift the heels up, and back down. Both of them together. Up and down. And up and down. You can start by holding on to the chair. But once you feel comfortable with this move, I want you to try it, maybe with just one hand holding, up and down. And please go at your own pace. And then if you feel comfortable, take both hands off as you go up and down. You can hold them just off or you can hold them out to the side. Up and down. This is also good for the calf muscles. Up and down. Okay, wonderful. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of something to that. We're going to bring the heels up, but as they're coming down, when they come down, then you're going to raise the toes up just a little bit. Put the toes down, heels come up. Heels down, toes come up. So it's like a rocking motion. So you alternate between heels and toes. Okay, you just have to lift the toes just a little bit, not too high. Now, when you get comfortable with that, try with one hand. Okay, and then you can try it with both hands. And up. There you go. Heels up, toes up. Heels up, toes up. Heels up, toes up. Very good. Okay, excellent. You feel those muscles in the back of your legs working? Okay. So let's just stand with a nice posture. I'm going to turn this way so you can see. We're going to have our legs about hip width. Hip width apart, feet with the toes pointing straight ahead like you're on a railroad track. You want them straight ahead, hips, everything forward, head is forward, and lift it up. Bring those shoulders back and down away from your ears. Tighten that tummy, roll those hips forward a little bit so you don't have your butt sticking out. And that is good posture. Your shoulder blades should be pulling a little toward each other to bring those shoulders back. Now this is, this is a nice balanced position for your body and um, pretty stable with the legs far apart. Now what I want you to do, holding on to your chair for the first, is to bring your outside leg, in this case it would be your left leg, you're going to bring it in right up next to your right leg. Release the chair. Now see the difference? That's very simple move. See what a difference it makes in your balance. 
how it's different from when your, your legs were wide. Because when, when your legs are far apart, that's a more stable stance. When you bring them close together, you've narrowed your base of support, which is a challenge to your balance. And this, is, this might be a challenge to, to a lot of people just to stand with the feet together. And if you sway a little bit, that's okay. Because that's, that's how the body is adjusting to keep you balanced. And you can try that. Just kind of sway from side to side a little bit. You know, and, and feel, feel how the muscles in your legs are working to keep you upright. Okay, now just stand still. Your feet are still together. You can try this with the hand on your chair to begin. I want you to try just standing still and close your eyes. That makes a big difference, doesn't it? With the eyes closed, you notice that you're, it's more of a challenge to stay up. And if you're comfortable, just take your hand off the chair, leave your arms at your side, and see how that feels. You're going you're gonna to notice how your body has a tendency to sway. When you take the eyes out of the equation, it's much more challenging for the brain to figure out where you are, where your body is, where, your, where the floor is. But that's a good challenge. You can open your eyes. Okay. Now, let's come around to the left side of the chair. And we're going to start. We're going to start just by a slow march. Slow march, left and right. Just barely picking the feet up off the floor. And also use your arms when you're doing this march. That helps with your balance. When, when, if you try and walk with your, with your arms still, it, it's more difficult. So I'm going to just pump the arms nice and easy. Now we're going to bring the knees up a little bit higher. We do, we're still marching slowly. We bring those knees up a little higher, a little higher. Bring them up even higher, even higher. See how that changes your balance now. It's a little more challenging, but please go, only go as high as you feel you can comfortably go. And if you need to hold on, as I always say, make sure you can hold on whilst you're doing it. Bring them up. Bring them up as high as you can now. As high as you can. Good. Okay. Relax them back down. Now we're going to we're going to do our side step. We'll start close to the chair. Step to the left. Bring the right one in. Step to the right. Okay. So let's just do that. Stepping side to side. Stepping left. Stepping right. And look straight ahead. Don't look at your feet. Try not to look at your feet. Just shifting our body from side to side. Good. Now from here, close to the chair, we're going to take a step forward and then step back. With the left leg, stepping forward, bring the right leg up to join it. Stepping back with the right leg, bring the left leg back to join it. So step with the left, forward, step with the right, back. That's forward. And back. Doesn't have to be a big step. If you feel comfortable with a small step, start there. Forward and back. Not looking at your feet. Keeping your body up nice and tall. Forward and back. Good. Now we're going to combine this. We're going to step to the side. Left side, right side, forward and back. Left, right, forward and back. So we're going to make a cross. Stepping to the side first. To the left, to the right, now forward and back. To the left, to the right, and forward and back. To the left, to the right, forward 
and back. A little faster. Left, right, forward, back. Left, right, forward, back. Left, right, forward, and back. Very good. Very good. Let's do that slow march again. Okay, we're marching left. Now, as we're marching, this time we're going to march and we're going to lift. Um, we're going to lift the right leg, lift it up, and hold it up. For a count of five. Okay, remember you're close enough to your chair so you can. You can grab it if you want. If you don't want to lift the leg, you can bring it up on the toe and hold it like this instead of lifting it all the way up and holding like that. So whatever's comfortable for you. So we're going to start marching left, right, left, right, left. Now we lift the right. Hold it. Keep that tummy tight for five. Four, three, two, one. Back to marching. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Now left and lift and hold the right. Tummy tight. Four, five, four, three, two, one. And release. Now you see that little correction that I just did? That's, that's great. That's really very good because that shows that your body's reacting, your muscles are reacting, your brain is working to figure out, oh, how to, how to take you from an unstable back to stable. Okay? So it's good to have, to have that. Don't let that alarm you because there are a lot of times you may be walking out in the street and you know, some, sometimes you're, it's nice when you have nice flat pavement to walk on, but you're not always going to find that. And sometimes that comes on, the change comes on you suddenly. You're walking, all of a sudden you're from solid, now you're on gravel, or you're on a cobblestone, or, you know, the, the sidewalk ripples up. We've got all these oak trees here in Florida. Massive trees and the roots, they just come and they push up on the sidewalk, push up on your driveway, all of a sudden, now it's uneven, and you'll find yourself going a little bit. So that's good to, to even practice that kind of thing on your own. See if you, how, how well you can adjust when you're off balance to bring yourself back to, an, uh, to a neutral level. Okay, so let's switch, swing around now to the right side. Excuse me, Klondike. So this time we're going to move right first, step left, step right, step left. Then we're going to go back and forth. Okay? So side to side first with the right leg. Step to the right, step to the left. Step to the right, step to the left. Step right, step left. Step right. Step left. Now forward and back. Forward with the right, back with the left. Forward with the right, back with the left. Forward right, back left. Forward right, back left. Now we're going to combine them. Side to side, forward and back. Side, side, forward, back. Side, side, forward, back, side, side, forward. Remember, keep your head lifted up. Keep that tummy tucked in. Side, forward. Let's try and speed it up a little bit. Side, side, forward, back. Side, side, forward, back. Side, side, forward, back, one more, side, side, forward, and back, very good. Okay, let's go into that nice slow march, lifting up the right, left, 
right, left, right, left, right. Now we're going to lift and hold the left up. Remember, you can hold your chair if you need to. And we're going to count five, four, three, two, one, and continue marching. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Now, left, lift up the, lift up the left. For five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Excellent. Let's go back around to the left side of the chair. And we're going to pretend like there's a, a tightrope or, um, you know, those balance beams that the uh, gymnasts use. They're four inches wide. Four inches. And they're up off the floor, what is it, about four feet? Four feet, maybe three, four feet off the floor. We pretend you, ha you have one that's just on the floor or a line that's drawn there. And we have our, our right leg is on the line or on that beam. The left leg is out to the side. Check your posture, standing up nice and tall, bring the shoulders back, head is up. We're going to take that left leg, which is out to the side, and we're going to bring the left heel right in front of the right toe. So both of your feet are on this balance beam now, right one in front of the other. Now if that's, and then see if you can balance like that. See, that's challenging, isn't it? You can feel, feel those muscles in your feet and your legs. Now if that's a little bit too um, difficult, bring, just bring your foot as close to your other foot as possible. It could be a little bit offset, that's okay. Try it, try it like this, tandem. And smile. Yeah. Okay. I want you to bend both knees just a little bit. Let's put the arms out to the side. Hey, how's that feel? And then we're going to just wiggle the hips a little bit. See? Every little, every time you move or change position, it changes your balance, and your body has to adjust. Okay, straighten the knees, back out to the side. Bring that left foot in front of the right foot, heel to toe, bend the knees a little bit, and shake those hips. Good. And let's do that one more time. Out to the side, bring it to the front, bend the knees, and shake it. Good. Okay. Now this time, we're going to bump it, up a, bump it up a notch. Come a little bit further away from your chair, but close enough so you can still grab it if you need to. We're going to take that left leg out to the side, but instead of bringing it to the front of your right, we're going to go past it. So you see the legs are crossed now. We're going to go past it. All right. Let's hold it like that. Good. Bring it back out to the side. We're going to do the same thing. This time we're going to go past it. At the same time, we're going to bring our right arm across the body this way. So. We bring in the left leg this way, right arm that way. So we're, we're, we're adding a little bit of a twist to this move. And bring it out. So the arms, the arm and the leg are working opposite, opposite directions to each other. So we come in and we go out. And come in and go out. And come in and go out. It's not only challenging your balance, but it's also working the brain. 
because we're moving arms and legs and we're moving them in opposite directions. So that's a challenge to your brain as well. Take it in, bring it out. Take it in, and please go at your own pace. Bring it in, and out. Excellent, okay. So, okay, let's do one more thing. We're gonna do that lift and hold the knee, but instead of just marching in place, we're gonna move from side to side. Every time you add movement, it makes it more challenging. So we're gonna to move to the left side, back to the right, move to the left, and then we move back to the right and lift up the left leg. Okay. Making sure you keep your tummy tight. And, and when you're trying to balance on one leg, the leg that's supporting you, you wanna keep that knee bent just a little bit. Keep it soft, don't lock it out because that will help you to keep your balance. Also, find something to fix your eyes on uh, at the other side of the room. Some little point or some object. Focus on that, keeping your, your abdomen tight as you're doing that. All that will help you to keep your balance. So let's try that. We're going to go to the left, to the right, to the left. Now, Step and lift, tighten the tummy, find your focus, and count for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Excellent. So now if you found that a little challenging, that's okay. The more you practice, the better it will get. This time, we're going to do the same thing, but this time, when we strike that pose and lift up the left leg, instead of keeping it in a static position, what I want you to do is nice and slowly kick that foot out and bring it back. Okay? Only if you feel comfortable doing it. So, let's get ready to step to the left, step to the right, step to the left. Now. We're going to step, lift up that left foot, tighten the tummy, find your focus, arms out to the side, and we're going to count, moving that leg back and forth. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Okay, how did you all do, right? Notice that little check that I had to do, but I was able to maintain it, which is good. Okay. One more thing we're going to add, if you feel comfortable, we're going to step like before, hold up the left leg, um, kick it back and forth as we're counting, and whilst we're doing that, we're going to be moving the arms up and down. Yeah, I know that's a lot to keep track of. That's a lot for your brain to keep track of. But try it and see. I bet you'll surprise yourself. But as always, if you need to hold on or if you, you don't feel comfortable moving your arms and your legs, please do what is comfortable for you. Okay, stand up nice and tall. Take a breath in. And as we breathe out, we're going to step to the left, to the right, to the left. Now step and lift. Hold that position. Arms out to the side. And we're going to count for one, two, Arms and legs moving. Five, six, seven, eight. Keep going. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and relax. Yeah, I know. I that was a long count, but I hope I hope most of you were still with me with that one. So this is all of these are really great balance training exercises that you can do easily at home, and it's best to do them every day, or at least several times a week, and you'll be surprised how much better your balance will get. Okay, we're going to go back around to the other side. Okay, we're going to do our tightrope, or balance beam. Left leg is on the beam, right leg out to the side. Shoulders back, tuck that tummy in. Give me a big smile, everybody. Okay, so remember, 
if it's not, if you, if you don't, if it's not uh, comfortable for you to bring your foot directly in front, bring it to the side, or bring it as close as you can, and still maintain your balance. Out to the side. So we're going to bring it in, right heel in front of left toe. Hold it like that. And take it out to the side. Bring it back in. And out to the side. Bring it in. Now bend both knees and shake those hips like a hula dancer. Good. Straighten. Take it out to the side. Bring it to the front. Bend the knees and shake. Straighten up. Leg out to the side. Bend the knees. As you, and bring it to the front. Sorry. Bend your knees and shake. Good. Straighten up and relax. Okay. Now we're adding on. We're going to take that, take the leg out to the side. When we bring it forward, we're going to go past the foot. So we're crossing the legs. Okay. Let's try that a few times. Out to the side and cross. Out to the side and cross. Take it to the side and cross. Out to the side and cross. Now let's try adding the arm in with this. It's going to be the left arm this time. I'm going across the body. As your right leg is crossing this way, your left arm is crossing that way. Moving in opposite directions. Out to the side and cross. Out to the side and cross. To the side and cross. That's it. You're doing great. Take it to the side and cross. Let's do one more. Take it to the side and cross. And relax. Very good. Very good. Okay. So to finish up, we're going to do our side step. Stepping to the right first, to the right, to the left, to the right. Then we're going to step, lift up the right leg. All right. Only go as high as you feel comfortable. Lift it up. Hold that position. And we're going to, we're going to do it again. This time when we lift up that right leg, we're going to gently push it forward and back. And then the third time, when we lift up that right leg, we're going to push that right foot forward and back and have the arms going up and down at the same time. Okay, ready? Still with me? Good. So let's go. To the right, to the left, to the right. Now, step and hold. Everything's still this time. Arms out to the side. Let's count for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Okay, I'm going to do it again. This time we're going to have the leg moving back and forth. Step to the right, step to the left, step to the right. Now, step and lift. Ooh, almost didn't get it. Okay, and now we're going to count from one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. All right. Okay, here comes the challenge. We're going to step, we're going to lift the leg, we're going to move it back and forth, and add the arms. So let's take a deep breath in. And as we release it, we're going to step to the right, step to the left, step to the right, now, step, lift up that right leg, arms out to the side, and let's count for one, two, three, keep the tummy tight, five, 
six, seven, eight, and relax. Oh, you did a wonderful job today with your balance. Okay, so let's go back around to the front of the chair. And when you go get ready to sit down, you want to make sure, first of all, that the chair is where you need it to be. I can't tell you the number of times I've heard of people going to sit down thinking the chair is where it needs to be and it's not. So what happens? Not pretty. You know, especially if it's a chair with, with wheels. It could move. Even just a few inches can make a big difference. So make sure that chair is where you want it to be by feeling it with the back of your legs before you sit. Now when you get ready to sit, you want to bring your hips back. That's the first thing. Bring your hips back, all right, and then bend your knees and take it all the way down with control, nice and easy. Okay. All right, you all did really great today, and I hope you'll practice these on your own because practice makes perfect. That's right. Okay, so we're going to cool down now. Sitting up nice and tall in your chair. Let's take a deep breath in. And blow it out. And again, another deep breath, nice and slow. This time, let's bring the arms up slowly. Filling up your lungs. Bring them all the way up. And now as you exhale, we're going to reach up with the left arm. And reach up with the right. And reach up with the left. Nice stretches for the shoulder and the arm. Reach up with the left. Reach up with the right. Reach up with the left. Reach up with the right. And we're going to reach up with the left. Bring the right one, right hand down to your right shoulder. And switch. Reaching up with the right. Left hand on the shoulder. Reach, switch again and switch. Now this time we're going to reach up with the left and bring the right arm all the way down, reaching for the floor. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. Now we're going to hold the left arm up. Hold on to your chair with the right arm. And we're going to lean the body over to the right, stretching all the way from the waist. Good. Come back up to center. And we're going to switch the arms. Bring the right arm stretching up, left, arm, left hand holding onto your chair. And we're going to stretch it over. Good. Come back up. Well, let's take our left arm across the body and hug it to your body. Let's open and close the left hand a few times. Release the arm. Fingertips go on your shoulder. Let's carry the elbow up. Release the elbow and we're just going to unroll that arm all the way down. Stretching to the back. And relax. Right arm out to the side. Sweep it to the front. Hug it to your body. Hey, what happened to all the smiles? We're almost finished. Release the arm. Fingertips go on the shoulder. Let's carry that elbow up. the elbow. We're going to unwind that arm all the way down, stretching to the back, keeping the palm to the floor, and bring it in. Good. Okay, let's open up the legs nice and wide, and your toes are pointing out at an angle to the corner. Toes are over knees, or knees are over toes. Nice straight back. Pull the shoulders back, take a breath in. 
And as you breathe out, we're just going to lean the body straight forward. Going as low as you comfortably can, but keep your head up. Keep your head up, and your neck is in line with your spine. Shoulders are pulled back. Feel that nice stretch on the inside of your thighs. And come back up. And we're going to do that one more time. Deep breath. And as you breathe out, you're going to lean your body forward. Keeping the back straight, keeping your head up. And come back. Good. Bring the feet in. Let's take another deep breath in. Clasp the hands overhead, turn the palms to the ceiling, stretch it up. And come down to chest level. Palms are still facing out. Breathe in, bend the elbows. Breathe out and stretch it forward. Feel that nice stretch in your upper back. Turn the palms toward you. Open up wide with a deep breath and a big smile. And as you breathe out, palms come together. Let's do that one more time. Deep breath in. Stretch the chest. And as you breathe out, let's wrap the hands around and give yourself a big hug. Okay, you all did really, really well today. Thank you for joining me. And um, before I go, I want to give a shout out to all the high school grads in the Apopka area, Wakaiba High and Apopka High. We're having your big graduation parade for you. And uh, I want to congratulate you all and wish you the best. And uh, thank you for joining me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And to hear about more videos or to find the other ones, just hit that subscribe button. And um, I hope you all stay safe, be well, and remember, I love you. Bye-bye. Say bye, Klondike. Klondike says bye.